Well, that's a that's an extra long middle finger. Um, like it kept growing or something. You know, that's that's, that's Kawhi, man. Um, big time player. I mean, the mitts is, is something else. Um, but I I gotta help him. You know, I, I gotta help him. Kawhi's did more than enough down this stretch. Um, some nights it's not gonna be his night. Um, you know, and, and that's just where I, I gotta be myself. I gotta help him. I gotta help pull the weight, make plays, make shots. Um, you know, it's it just, you know, give him credit getting us this far, but uh, he can't go into every game with that pressure that he's got to, you know, be great on both ends. Um, offensively, some nights it's, it's, it's going to be rough. Um, so, you know, it was, it was an emphasis when I saw, you know, I had it going early. Um, I just kept attacking, stayed aggressive. Um, just let the game come to me. Next we'll go to Farbach. Williams said, you know, the guys decided in the fourth quarter they really didn't want to lose this game tonight. Is that something you felt from the fourth quarter where the intensity just picked up from everybody? Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, we felt it. Um, I'm sure you guys saw it. Uh, we were not going to be the team that lost tonight. Next we'll go to Miriam. Hey, Paul, congrats, man. Thank you. Um, so, so obviously the Jokic is a handful for, for everybody. Yeah, I mean he's he's great. Um, he's one of a kind at that position. Um, I thought Zoo did a great job. We told him. I mean, it's, he's he's a great player. Um, what you have to do though is just make it tough for him. If he makes shots, he makes shots. Uh, but it can't be easy. He's got to be worn down. He's got to be tired. Um, and going to that next game, he's got to remember how tough it was. Um, and I thought Zoo did that. Um, it's just tough. It's tough. He gets those calls. He. You know, he throws his body around. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. Same thing past it. I mean, he puts the pressure on the refs. Um, some of those I don't think are fouls, but he gets it. Um, you know, you just tell Zoo he's just got to continue to battle him. You know, he gets those calls, he gets them. Got to keep it going. Next, we're going to Dan in the bubble. Yeah. Uh, talk about the stretch that Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's basketball, you know, it's, it's basketball. Um, we're, we're not a perfect team by any means. Um, this game is, is made on stretches. Uh, one team gets hot, gets going, other team rallies back. Um, but this game is always predicated on whoever plays defense first wins. And I thought we incorporated that, um, put this game away. Next we'll go to David. Um, you know, you guys really tightened up there defensively, you know, especially right before halftime and then in the second half there. Um, you know, we've seen what this team is capable of when you guys are really locked in defensively. Um, just, you know, what do you think it's going to take, you know, to start off the game with that consistent effort? You know, so you know, I know Denver's a great offensive team, but, you know, to just kind of avoid getting down, you know, by double digits like that. Uh, <sighs> look at film. We'll see what we can identify to, uh, you know, get us off to a better start defensively. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, again, we're, we're not perfect. Never said we were. Um, that's an area that we have to clean up. Um, we'll address it tomorrow. Try to be better for game four. Next we'll go to Tomer. Hey, Paul, congrats on the win. Um, you know, obviously you guys have been playing well. I'm just curious, Pat, post-game said that uh, Jokic presented similar issues as, as, as Doncic did, the herky jerky style game, does everything, sort of flails a bit as well. Um, you know, we saw some frustration against Zubat. How important, I guess, or how much do you enjoy seeing the frustration, I guess, or the emotion about caring so much about playing? And if you could just speak, speak a bit more about the job 
Uh, I mean, that's that's how it feels. That's how it should be. Game two, um, it weighed on Zoo. You could tell. Um, game three, he wanted to make an impact. Um, I, you know, like I said, we we talked to him. He's he's a great player. Um, great players, you tip your hat when they make tough shots. Uh, but they got to make tough shots to beat you. Um, that's that's just what it is. You know, Zoo's. He's not going to stop him um, to some degree. I mean, he, he's going to score his baskets. He's, he's good. Uh, but he's got to make it just tough. Um, I think he's doing a great job on him. Uh, it's what you want to see in a young player uh, when they want to take that challenge. And, um, you know, like I said, that game two, you know, that whole game was weighing on him, and he felt bad about his performance. Game three, he came out, he challenged him. Um, nothing but great things I saw from Zoo tonight. We'll take one more from Karina. Hey Paul, uh, they kept showing the families cheering on the TV broadcast today. I was wondering, did you notice having you know real fans in the building today, and what's that experience been like? Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great. It's uh, you know the only bit of noise you hear outside of the hoops. Um, it's great. We got our whole uh, squad here. Um, we got a big support system here. Um, so that's great. Makes it feel somewhat like home. Okay, that's all I got for you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.